Which one of you guys are Neva Max? Are you serious? Season four, episode 11 or 12, depending on your streaming platform, is one of the craziest reveals I have ever seen on Catfish. Season four is really the craziest season. I feel like the producers really did their big one when putting the season together and I love them for it. Tiana, who is 21 and currently lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, is writing into the show on her own behalf. She's currently dating a 24-year-old man named James who lives in Statesville, North Carolina and works as a mechanic. They fell in love quickly and he is the first and only man she has ever been in love with. They met on MySpace. That's already a red flag. But anyways, she says that he's really into her. The thing that draws me to James the most he really wants to know everything about me. Which isn't weird at all, right? For someone you've never met to want to know all about you. That's not weird. Stand up! Stand up! She said when they first started talking, things were perfect. They were great, but only because she lived in Washington state and she wasn't really pressed about meeting because she didn't have the money to get to him. So she didn't feel like it was right to press him about coming to her. But about eight months before she reached out to Catfish, she told James that since she had family in North Carolina, she was thinking about moving back. James was all excited. And told me he thought that we could find an apartment and talk about marriage. So she was excited. So she moved back. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. But surprisingly, big shocker here, it has been five months since she made the move and they still have not met. She consistently makes date plans and he always flakes. First red flag, you are always making the plans. Second red flag is that you made the plans more than once after he flaked. After that, I'm not making plans, I'm blocking you. So Charlotte and Statesville, they're about 45 minutes away, so Neve and Max conclude that he just does not want to meet her. That's just because they don't want to meet her. Right. But they hop on the Skype call with her anyways, and she says that she watches the show, yet she doesn't know which one is Neve and which one is Max. Which one of you guys are Neve and Max? Are you serious? Tiana. I feel like that's so embarrassing to admit out loud. Obviously, the fine silver fox is Max, obviously. She says that they met almost immediately after she had her daughter, Journey. She said that he randomly messaged her, but he did not have a real picture of himself, which should have been a huge red flag in and of itself. Why are you talking to someone who you don't know what they look like? About after a month of talking, he sent her a picture of himself, allegedly, apparently, and asked her to be exclusive, and she agreed. Girl, 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 girl. She says that she loves him because he's real nice to talk to and he can deal with her attitude, which she admits can be bad at times, which... Same girl, same. Bad attitude girlies to the front. <laughs> but she's been lying to James. He does not know that she has a daughter because he told her multiple times that he does not like kids. He don't want no kids. So Max says what I know we are all thinking right now. How could you want to be with a guy that doesn't like or want kids? Knowing damn well she has a whole ass daughter at home. Say this does work out, right? Say he is who he says he is, they meet, things click, they go together real bad, right? This man is not going to treat your child well because he has already communicated to you that he does not like or want kids. But this girl is willing to put all that to the side for some MySpace internet mans who won't make the 45 minute drive to come and see her after three years of being together. Just gonna throw your daughter to the side like that. She says that by the time she caught feelings, she was already in too deep. He already loves me, so of course I would think he would love my daughter. That don't make no damn sense. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cause say I was with somebody and I met them, we're clicking, things are going well, right? And I find out they have a kid. I'm okay. I'm good on that. I wish you and your kid nothing but the best. I wish you'll have the best life without me in it. Neve and Max then hop off the call and they have a good little giggle about the fact that she does not know who is who. And Max then predicts the future and he says that This is gonna be a train wreck. But he can't wait to see it. This man is so messy and I live for it because me too, I love the mess. Only in TV shows, not in my real life. So they then head down to Charlotte and when they pull up to Tiana's house, they ask her where her daughter is. And she says that she is with her best friend, Aisha, like Tiana's best friend, not Journey's best friend, Tiana's best friend, Aisha. We then find out that Tiana has made extensive efforts to link James more so than she let on initially. And James has let her down every single time. After her two attempts of setting up a date in her city, it didn't work. So then she set something up in his city and had her bestie, Aisha, bring her. He kept calling and calling, he didn't pick up. 
I mean, it would have been over so long before this point for me, but then it definitely would have been over with this because now you're wasting my time and my homegirl's time absolutely not so she says that she loves him because he's real sweet he's real romantic more so than her then plays a voicemail that he left her this is how it starts off i know it seems like i be mistreating you and i be neglecting you i'm sorry the woman was too stunned to speak i don't know if maybe we just have different definitions of what sweet and romantic means but uh this doesn't sound sweet or romantic to me at all so she then shows a picture of him and Neva's like, girl, that looks like a professional photo shoot. She says, I hope so. I hope he is who he says he is. You're on catfish. I doubt it. <laughs> she says that she hopes that he will be okay with her daughter and accept her daughter. You're worried about the wrong things, Miss Ma'am. At the end when they're leaving, she still does not know who is Neve and who is Max. Hey, Max, aren't you Max? <laughs> I'm not telling you. I don't know why. I found that so funny. Especially, I think it must have been humbling for even Max who's like, yeah, we're on our fourth season. We're established. People know who we are. And then this girl who's on the show and wrote into you for help does not know who is who. <laughs> Neve and Max then head off and get to investigating. Neve says that they are dealing with a classic catfish situation, which, yeah pretty standard run-of-the-mill stuff here I think especially because they met on MySpace. Neve guesses that the reason he is so adamant against kids is I, I almost suspect that maybe he has a kid and just does not want any more so he lied and said that he doesn't like kids and Neve can also see the future apparently this episode. That's crazy. <laughs> so they then reverse image search the pictures. The first one comes up with a bunch of hits for a musician from Fayetteville an artist named Classified Tipsy Twist which is a stupid ass name. Video message in a minute, man. We'll just keep y'all updated. Max says that they'll show her the video of him talking to know whether the voices match or not. The guy in the picture is real name, so classified tipsy twist. His real name is Gregory Johnson. Uh, like you know the the names that you would see on phone boxes, like George Smith, Gregory Johnson. It's giving fake name. Anyways. They then decide to look up James Sloan on Facebook, which is the name that Tiana gave them, and they find a bunch of profiles, but they find a page in the specific area with the same job that Tiana said that James has. They think it's him, but this is an old white guy. And Max is like, whoa, that's something to hide. Yeah, sir, I'd, I'd say so. He then says, with a little too much enthusiasm, might I add, Finally, we found the 50-year-old, like, pervert guy <gasps> okay all right so then our boys they head off to meet aisha tiana and journey and fill aisha and tiana in on what they know we then find out that aisha and tiana met on facebook years ago and they've been friends for a significant amount of time aisha is in a relationship are you in a relationship yeah, you can fight it. With a man who is the father of one of her four children. So she has hella kids herself. That will be important to note later on. So just save that, save that piece of information for later on. Aisha says that if she were in this predicament, she wouldn't have let it go this far, which me too, girl. Three years is insane. Especially when you live in the same state. Be fucking for real. And you're not even like a full hour away. That's crazy. Max then drops the bomb that Mr. James does not like kids. That's gonna be awkward. And I feel like that's that's underplaying it. That's downplaying it. Is underplaying a way to say it? You know what I mean. I feel like that's an understatement. That's what I'm looking for, an understatement. Finally! Neve and Max then give the two besties a recap. They tell them everything I just told you. They show her who the man in the pictures actually is, and then they show her the YouTube video and ask if this is the voice that she's been talking to. It doesn't sound like him. His voice is way deeper than that. So now it's confirmed this tipsy twist is not James. <gasps> so they then show her the James Sloan Facebook page and show her who they think she's talking to and her face immediately drops. Is that him? Tiana gets pissed, which also made it clear that she said she had a little bit of an attitude, which same, I, I do I have a little bit of an attitude sometimes but it's clear she actually has anger issues which i don't have she then reiterates that she's 21 i'm older you know i'm 21 so like no and, and this man is clearly clearly well past that but also like no tea no shade no pink lemonade she does not look 21 to me at all she looks 
old this girl she looks really really old and i don't know why i can't put my finger on why she looks so old in comparison to her friend even i don't know they just give like 40s <laughs> that, that sounds so shady i promise i don't mean it to be shady they just look way older than they are so neve then steps outside to call james in order to convince him to meet up with them finally james says that he knows about the show and neve says that tiana wants to meet up after all this time and catfish is just trying to help it happen james says that he's at work Man, neve ignores that <laughs> he keeps talking <laughs> he's a fuck your job answer my questions so he tells him like we know that the pictures that you are using are not yours and that they're from a rapper Tiana knows that and she still wants to meet you. He says, yeah, for sure, we can meet tomorrow. And Neve goes, yeah, but you've said that before. So I just wanna make sure that you'll actually do it this time. And I, oh. He says that he will be there. I, I don't wanna hurt her, I care for her. Which obviously not, if you're trying to make her wait three years to even meet you. Neve then heads back inside. He tells them he does not know if James will actually show up and he doesn't want Tiana to get her hopes up. Neve then invites Aisha to come along and support her and she says that she wants to be there too because she wants to know who he is. She's nosy like us. The next day they head to the house and Tiana's sister Christina is there to watch Journey and Tiana says that she feels like Like my life, my time wasted like Who is gonna tell this girl that she wasted her own time? She wasted her own life. She, no one told her to be in a relationship with a man she never met and doesn't know what he looks like. Nobody told her to do that. She chose to do that. Now she's talking about she wasted her life. Girl. Like, obviously she's the victim. Anyways, let's stay on track. Let's stay on track. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Neve then texts James and says that they're ready to meet. James tells them to come by the shop that he works at. That's pretty close to here. It's ten, really? That's like 10 minutes from here. I would be so annoyed. You work 10 minutes away from my house. And I've been here for five months. We've been together three years. And you ain't come see me? You didn't let me come see you? So they head out. They all hop out of the car once they're at the garage. Neve and Max approach the garage while the girls and the crew hang back. The door is half open, so Neve, he doesn't need to knock and there's no windows for him to peer into. So he just goes under like so like that and lifts the garage door. Aisha goes off when she sees who it is and calls him Trez. What the f Are you serious? Trez, really? Trez walks over and he's like, why did y'all bring her? Tiana walks over and says, who's Trez? And Aisha says, that's my baby daddy. Yeah, what you no mean way. who is dead? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's who now? It's your what now? Now, everything from this point on is pretty chaotic. It all seems to be happening pretty fast. And the way that the episode was cut up didn't really help. So I'm just gonna do my best to recap it in a way that makes sense and hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll be able to follow along. Aisha's so hurt and Tiana is pissed, which makes sense because she has anger issues. Tiana says that they set her up and she says that this is now going to get between her and Aisha's friendship because how could Aisha not have known? What am I tapping? Girl, you spoke to a stranger on the internet for three years. And instead of getting mad at the man who played you and lied to you, you're mad at the woman who was also duped, played, and lied to? They have one kid together. And so Tiana is like, oh, so you do have a child, acting like she wasn't also lying about her kid. I just, that, that seemed like a stupid thing to hone in on, in my opinion. Trez says that this was messy. Why y'all bring my baby to mama, man? Neve said, we didn't know this was happening, but my guy, Trez, you were messy. You created this mess. And now you want to blame other people. Max then goes and talks to Aisha, who is pissed in the car. And then I, in the car. <laughs> then Aisha storms out of the car and eats Trez's ass up. She reveals that he sabotages every relationship that she has because he doesn't want her to be with anyone else. And as she's ripping him a new one, he just closes the door on her. <laughs> the cameraman ate with this shot for real. He ate. She then pulls up the door, Neve's trying to like hold her back. She don't care. She don't care about nothing Neve is doing. Then as she's walking away, Trez says that she's got a boyfriend. I suppose that was said in an attempt to invalidate her argument and her perspective, but obviously that did not work. Also, he didn't deny the allegations that he intentionally messes up her relationships. 
because he's a bitter hater he did not address that at all so i personally i believe he'd be doing that i believe he does that i think that he wants her to be there to always be accessible to him if his other flings don't work out he just wants her to always be there and he knows that she always kind of has to be there because they have a kid together tiana said it's crazy like it but i'm the one who, who's going through this and y'all arguing and nobody acknowledges her <laughs> i thought that was funny she's like this is about me and everyone just continues fighting like girl hush up not right now it's not about you so aisha then actually this time goes back to the car with max we find out that trez is the father of her seven-year-old son she reiterates that he is constantly sabotaging her relationships but every time i turn around it's a new bitch in the picture so it's only her that has to be bitter and alone she said that she's having a really hard time wrapping her mind around the fact that Titi, Tiana, has been telling her how she's falling in love with James and James has actually been her nuisance of a baby daddy. And even Tiana stay in the garage with Trez and Trez says that he did all of this because he originally met Tiana through Aisha and didn't want this to be messy. You catfished your baby mama's best friend for three years and you didn't want it to be messy? Sir, I need you to be so fucking for real right now just for one second she said she does not remember meeting him and he says that's because they weren't properly introduced but he had his eye on her all night that's creepy he said that he was going to tell her who he was off rip but he doesn't explain why he didn't so that just sounds like his lips are moving for no reason he's not saying any words that hold any weight so neve then tells him that it was their choice like catfish's choice to bring aisha as some support for tiana he also tells trez that he clearly did not think any of this through. Tiana then heads back to the car where Aisha is still talking to Max. Aisha reveals that Trez actually helps her with- He takes care of my other kids. And they have been with each other on and off, dealing with one another for about eight years now. We then find out that Trez does not have only one, only two, or only three kids. This man has eight kids. He has like, eight what kind kids. of is this? Aisha says that she wants to apologize, but she did not know about any of this. Tiana then asks, who am I in love with? And as Aisha is wiping her tears, she goes, my baby daddy. You're in love with my baby daddy. <laughs> I know, I know that this is supposed to be a serious moment, but I would be lying if I said I didn't cackle because I just cackled in front of you and every single time I've seen this episode, I cackle right there because that seems like a line out of a Tubi movie. You're in love with my baby daddy to your best friend? That's crazy. And even Trez are still in the garage. Do you still have feelings for Aisha? Yeah, I love her. She's my baby mom. I'm not in love with her. But he is in love with Tiana. Neve then heads back to the car to check in with everyone. Tiana and Aisha are both crying. They do not want to speak to Trez, so they leave the garage. So the next day, Tiana is at the hotel with Neve and Max and she's crying because she's hurt and super embarrassed, which makes a lot of sense. This shot of Max looking empathetic is just cinematic gold. He just, he looks so good with that beard. I just love beards, honestly. If anyone has a beard to me, I just feel like finest points, they go up. You're just automatically more fine to me. We then find out that Tiana and Aisha have not spoken since the confrontation, which is kind of confusing because neither of them did anything wrong like the anger should be directed at the man not the besties mad at each other tiana then says that she wants to sit down and talk with trez i mean i'm interested in seeing what he got to say why did you do so they head over to do that and as they pull up to his house she seems excited which confused me why are you excited to see a man who lied to you has eight children and is the baby daddy to your best friend's kids like that's weird why are you excited that this is the man you're in love with? It's giving gutter rat mentality and I don't like that. It's giving I can't get anyone better so I'll settle for this. Don't do that. Don't ever settle. This makes me so mad. Tresden says that yesterday he was not able to speak his mind. He could not say how he felt because he didn't want to hurt Aisha's feelings. He said that he just wants a friendship with Aisha, which I don't believe. Max then asks, What do you love about her? And he says her personality and then it takes him five more minutes to be like, and Oh, she pretty. My guy, is that it? If someone claimed to be in love with me and they don't immediately have like a list of, I don't know, I don't know like 10 pages of things that they love about me and why they love me and not just my personality and she's pretty. We know that, what else? 
That's all? That's all you love about me? You don't really love me. Treslin says that now they can be in a relationship, that everything is out in the open, and Tiana says she doesn't know if that's what she wants, which there shouldn't even be, I don't know if that's what I want. I don't want that. It should have been very clear, very concise. I don't want that. Neve and Max leave them to talk alone, but they're not really alone because there's cameramen and cameras all around them. But they joke about, what are you gonna do about these problems that we got? I grow some, I'm grow some, drink, some, uh, some rice. <laughs> and they're laughing and giggling like he didn't just do what he did. So then they're heading out and she says that it's going to be hard to be with him, but it very much gives that she's going to try. I mean, I can't let this go. It's real. Girl, 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 oh, girl. This girl stop. is delusional. Losing your best friend for a lying man who cannot dress with eight kids is crazy. So in our one month follow-up, we find out that Tiana and Trez had a little thing going, little thing going according to her, and they were supposed to meet when she was ready to introduce him to Journey. And she says that when she was on her way there, she backed out, went back home, and she couldn't do it. I don't believe this story. This story sounds made up. She says that she's ready to move on and she is not looking for love. But the lie detective determined that was a lie. I also don't believe that. She then tells us that her and Aisha aren't speaking. She says that they got into an argument because Aisha saw that Trez was calling her. Be fucking for real. She then claims. She showed her true colors and told me how she really felt. Batman. So they are no longer on speaking terms. There is no friendship there and there never will be. Imagine you let this musty, dusty, crusty ass man break up your friendship. Aisha then says that in the back of Tiana's mind, she still believes that Aisha knew about the whole situation. So she feels that's why there's a lot of resentment. But she says that she's now 100% okay with the fact that she does not want anything to do with Trez. Production tried to reach out to Trez, but he ignored the request. And so this, to me, it lets me know that something more messy went on than they're all really letting down. Tiana has a very different version of events than Aisha has. So what I think was happening is that Trez was messing with both of them and they were lying about it. Everyone was lying about it. I think that's what was happening. So I think that's why they really got into the fight because Aisha saw Trez was calling her and was like, what the hell? And obviously Aisha was really hurt by this. So she went off on Lil Miss Dummy and Tiana got her feelings hurt. Instead of Tiana taking responsibility for her actions, she just paints Aisha out like the villain when the only villain in this whole situation is Tiana because she messed with her friend's baby daddy after knowing it was her friend's baby daddy, but also mainly the man who cannot dress, who can barely communicate and has eight kids, Trez. Can I fucking lie? I just feel like if I, this is such a hypothetical because I would never be in this situation, but if I were in this situation and me and my homegirl walked out, I'm about to meet the man who I've been in love with for three years and he's telling me all these sweet nothings and blah, 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 and been lying to me about so much and out walks my best friend's baby daddy, me and her, we're jumping you. We are jumping you. And then you're never speaking to me ever again because what, what the fuck do you mean? You're my best friend's baby daddy. You got eight kids. You lied. You said you had none. You lied about literally everything. You stalked me. And that's how you even found me and ended up wanting to be in a relationship with me, knowing that I was your baby mama's best friend. Disgusting. Absolutely fucking not. I think Tiana's messy for not cutting things off immediately. I think Trez sucks. And I think he's a horrible human being. And I don't think Aisha did anything wrong. I don't think Aisha did anything wrong, even if she did let Tiana have it, because I feel like if the roles were reversed and Miss Tiana with her anger, if she's found out that Aisha was still dating her baby daddy, she would have lost her fucking mind. But thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who requested this lovely video. If you'd like to see more Catfish videos in the future, make sure to let me know in the comments which episode you would like to see me cover. Make sure to like, make sure to comment your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions, because I got, I got lots to say. And I want to hear what you have to say. And make sure to subscribe and ring that bell notification because, baby, you know you love these catfish videos. You know you're going to keep coming back for more, so just make it easy on yourself. So thank you again so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next video.